I'm so excited. This is Cindy and you are not gonna believe I'm doing my first mystery box. That's right, my first one. So who knows what's in here and what's gonna happen, but I'm so excited to do this. You have no idea. So I'm gonna get started here. I tell you, I don't go shopping, so I really honestly could not tell you what this is, but I'm going to read it. And <laughs> I can tell you it was manufactured in July 2017, and it expires July 2019, so this one is a little late arrival. <laughs> you know because I get a little baggy eyes and saggy eyes so I think these are going to be wonderful but uh, I'm going to have to contact the manufacturer and see if maybe I can get a replacement packet for free so I don't put something on my face that might be expired but we're going to put this down and think about this here in a little bit if I want to try it or not for real but there if you want to get a close up the back looks better than the front yes it does and oh mashed potatoes with it or you beat your eggs I'm not sure but uh, someone told me these little rubbery tips you see on the ends are massagers mm -hmm. so yes <laughs> I could do this yes does that look oh, oh that that feels wonderful but the thought of putting something like this on my brain <laughs> Especially having epilepsy, this might cause an electrical reaction. I don't know. But this is a massager. Oh. Oh. <laughs> actually, I'm laughing right now because it looks like I want to cook with it, but it actually does feel pretty good. So I don't know where this came from. There's no label on it for sure. So again, this is a manufacturer check here so I'll have to get back with you on, on who makes this but it did feel actually pretty good I hope it didn't mess my hair up let's move on I want to see what else is in this box oh oh no you gotta be kidding me I heard this is wonderful stuff champagne charcoal mask oh 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 scrub sorry Look at this pretty rose gold lid. It's the talk of the town. And then if you look inside this jar, plenty of charcoal there. And uh, it's, oh, it feels really good. Kind of gritty. I don't know if you just scrub it on or is it exfoliates? I'm going to tell you, it looks like charcoal, but it feels like salt. And it's it's kind of gritty like salt. I don't know, Chelsea, is it turning my face black? Because I don't want to be embarrassed. No. So we're just going to leave that on for a few minutes and see what happens. I don't know if I'm doing this right or not, but... It's, it's actually a body wash. It's a body wash wall. <laughs> There's my first thing right there. See, my first box. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm excited because I don't buy beauty products. That's why this is my very first box, and I actually borrowed the box. So until I look in here, I don't know what it is, and probably there's things in here that's going to scare me, but I'm doing it anyway because I, I just wanted to try doing one of these videos. Okay, so this is called Sand and Sky, and it's Australian Pink Clay. It is pore-fining face mask. Okay, so I probably need to take my other stuff off now. Where did, Chelsea, can you hand me my towelette so I can get this off? It's a, let's, let's take this off here. See if uh, 
what this other stuff does. <clears throat> I wanted to come prepared for all this because I had no idea what was in this box, but I just wanted to see what all the rave was, you know, because everybody seems to be so excited to get this stuff, you know, and I think people pay good money for these boxes, and I think it's a waste myself because you don't know what you're going to get, and half the stuff I wouldn't even use, I don't think, when I see them open, I'm like, I could live without that for that much money. I don't know, to me it looks like half the stuff's already used, so. Well, we're going to try this out anyway. Okay, so, that being said... Now that I've got the charcoal off my face, and oh, wow, my face feels so good now. We're going to try this scrub. This is not a scrub, actually. This is just a face mask. I'm going to smell it. Oh, got some. <laughs> I got some up my nose. Yeah, it smells like a mask. There's no scent. And I imagine if I put this under my eyes, it's going to harden, and then I could peel it right off. Let's just see how that sets. <laughs> all right. So, for all of you that want to know, this is called Sand and Ski. It's my little sample. And I have real sensitive skin. So, if I put something on my skin that has a lot of chemicals in it, it burns, it gets irritated, and I'm going to tell you, this stuff burns the hell out. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know if this is good for you or not, but we're gonna find out if my face turns red and and stuff. So now then, I got this uh, foot cream for your heels. Now I have a feeling this was sent on purpose because I have horrid feet, as you can see. But I'm gonna try this on my heels. Don't look at my toes. This is about my heels right now. This is a, a cream, foot cream. Let me see how I'm supposed to use a soap and glory. Foot cream. I'm used to the peppermint smelling ones. This doesn't have any smell either. So I just rub it in. Wow. Let's see how that feels. My foot needed a a massage. Wow, look at that. Nice and smooth. I think this one's a keeper. If, of all the things I've tried right now, and the stuff I haven't tried yet, right now this is my number one product, but I would tell you, hey, it feels really good on my feet. My ankle, my, I have really dry callous feet, so because I'm always barefoot. So this feels really smooth now after putting that on. So I do like that better. So I give that a A plus. So let's see what else we got here. Look, it has little language from Asia. I don't know what language is in Chinese, Japanese, Korean. I'm really big on Asia. So I know this is an amazing product because they are so funny about this. And their diet and their health. This here is lotion. And I think it's Japanese. Sikise, it's S I K K I S E I. It's in a cute little blue bottle. But this is just lotion. And it's wet lotion. Look, it just looks like water. But it is, it's really smooth and it feels really good. Hmm, different. I'm not sure if it's a lotion or an oil, but it just comes out like water, but it goes on real smooth. But I'm gonna say that I like this just pretty much even with the foot product and the lotion. So I got two good products so far that I'm really thumbs up about. And this is a glow mist. Mmm, that smells really good too. This is by Pixie Glow Mist. 
has a light airy fragrance to it so that's pretty good too I really want something exciting though so I can show off my products and not just look at them and say look what I got this is a bag and it's got something in it I can't wait to see oh wow I don't know is this okay to show on on video they look like toothbrushes toothbrushes without bristles or what what does it say it's purr purr isn't that like a water purification like thing chelsea what's purr isn't that like there is pure? there is silicone makeup brushes they're silicone makeup brushes. No lie. But they look like spoons. Or tuning, you know, like tuners for tu instruments, you know, tuners. I don't know. It's not. <clears throat> so uh, there's different sizes. So I assume one of these is for your eyes. You probably could have used that for your uh, this one mask. You just put on. What do you do with them? You rub. It. What do they do? They put makeup on. I am honestly, this. I I bet this is probably one of the most expensive items in this box, and that is probably why this would be the the F minus for me for grade because I have no idea what it is, and that can be very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing with stuff. I just don't know. But. The bag's very cute and shiny, and it says, and off she went to change the world. And so true, because this bag is going off. She went. Now, let's see. The last thing is chocolate, chocolate brownie, two-faced chocolate brownie eye pencil. Eyebrow pencil? Oh no. I kind of thought I might. Ooh, is this got a brush on it for your eyelid? Does it have. What is this for, Chels? What do you do with this? Well, I use it to blend. But, but is this. Is it for your <clears throat> eyelashes too, or is this just to brush your eyebrows? See, I'm blonde, so I don't. I usually just use a. What do they call those little eye eye applicator things? And I take brown eyeshadow and just put it over to darken my brows up a little bit. But I don't have dark eyebrows, so I don't need a brush to brush anything because I have so little. But I really have been excited about learning more about newer products because these are things I didn't use when I was young. So I just put this. Does this just go on my hair like I'm combing my hair with it? I'm trying to figure out how you get the stuff on it. <laughs> this doesn't look There's, like it's... Put the lid back on it. Okay. Pull the other side off. Oh, now I feel really silly. <laughs> this isn't like a microblade, is it? No. Like it's not going to hurt me, is it? No. <laughs> I think next time I get my mystery box, I want to request one of those little athletes where I can trace on my brows in a straight line so they're nice and perfect. Because this is definitely not me. Not saying that I haven't worn my fair share of makeup in my day, but it's been a long time. And I really... You look so weird with eyebrows. <laughs> That's why I I don't. I am more of a naturalist as I get older. It's like uh, 
I have so much on my plate to do that I don't really wear a lot of makeup anymore. And I honestly never use one of these type of pencils that have an angle on it already and a brush to do my makeup with. But there, there is a first time for everything. And maybe not. Maybe there's a last time for everything too. So, I'm letting my math dry. That's, that's all that is in my box. So I feel like I got gypped somehow. That went by a lot faster than I thought. But I am going to... It's almost like your daughter put this box together for you. It's yeah, so maybe. Weird. But uh, this here, I'm not going to rule it out. I think it'd be cool to put that on your face. I'm anxious to see. But it is expired, so I don't know. You think I should try it? Have you tried these before, Chels? No. Okay, I think we're going to put these on hold because they're expired. No on this one. This is Sand and Ski. Remember I said it, or Sky, sorry. But uh, it was burning my face when I put it on, so I'm waiting to see what it feels like to take it off. I Normally you peel it off, I'm assuming. No, it's a, but, a wash off. Wow, I can tell the difference. Can you see the difference? That looks really good. You feel this. And even though it tingled at the beginning, it felt kind of like it burned a little bit. It didn't leave my face red or bumpy or anything. What do you think? It feels really soft. I think I'm going to reconsider that one. I think everybody should try their stuff, you know, on their own, which is what I'm trying to do is experiment with new things. Got but vitamin A. I actually like the way this felt when I was rubbing it in and being funny with it. It felt really good. And it went on real easy. And then when I wiped it off, my face felt really smooth. And again, this stuff here, where did I put it? This little tiny tube sample here. I said no to at first, but I think now that I washed it off and it came off and my face feels really soft right here right now. So not bad. But... I'm gonna tell you right now, me, I just get my little uh, oil delay bar of soap and I wash my face when I take my showers and I'm done. I don't put moisturizer on, I probably should, and that's why I wanted to start my first box so that I could get some ideas for my next box and what needs to be in it. So if anyone wants to send us any information about things I should try, the fact is I might try it once and you'll never see it again because I don't believe in spending all your hard-earned money on stuff that basically you don't need. But this lotion was really good. I like the fact that it feels like water going on. It doesn't feel like oily or anything. It just feels like you're washing your hands literally. And then when you're done putting it on, your hands feel really good. I like it. And it has a nice fragrance too. It's not too strong. So that's a keeper. But yeah, I'm pretty low maintenance at this age because I got too much going on with grandkids and being in the semi all the time. So I just was trying to be funny and trying new things, but I'm actually surprised that I did like some things. But yeah, this one, not so much. But you can always hit Chelsea up if you want to know more about this one because I'm sure a lot of you would like to know about different makeup appliques and stuff but I just use my hands or the brush that came with the makeup I bought so I don't go out and buy kits and stuff to do my makeup and I got sister-in-law's a cell Mary Kay Avon can't remember Radon there's all kinds of friends of mine that sell all this stuff and I never buy ever um, and I'm not saying that it's good or bad, but I'm just more of a wash my face and I'm done. If I want to wear makeup, I just put some mascara on and I'm done. So that's just me. But if there's other women out there that love these kind of things, I hope some of the stuff I showed you is something you took an interest in and it was worth seeing. So 
so that you could go get your own stuff. And I think for my first video, I'm done, but hopefully we'll be doing some more. So that being said, this is Cindy again. Hope y'all enjoyed my video and click the subscribe button if you'd like to see more.